10 foods you should be eating to get lean fast. Everything we've known about calorie counting is wrong. If you've been stuck with your progress and just can't get lean, your weight isn't moving. Your calories are low and sub 2000. You're doing training five days in a week and you're doing tons of cardio. And maybe because we have this calories in versus calories out thing wrong. And what we need to do is to fix your gut microbiome. What I'm about to share in this video may be the missing piece in your fat loss puzzle. In 2017, that was my first transformation and I dropped a total of 16 pounds in 20 weeks. I went through a muscle building phase in 2018 and dropped the same amount of fat, but this time in 12 weeks. In 2019, I did my first show and dropped a total of 24 pounds in 16 weeks. And my last show in 2021, I dropped a total of 39 pounds in 28 weeks. I got better and more efficient at losing the fat because of the quality of the foods that I was eating. I went from eating Oreos every day in 2017 to eating superfoods in 2021 that allowed me to get into the shape of my life and get lean. The best diet isn't the one that's low in calories. It's the quality of the food that really matters. The best diet is the one that feeds your gut the right food and is sustainable. What if I told you you could literally use your bacteria in your gut to get lean? This is a revolutionary science that I believe for you will change your fat loss game forever. Hi, my name is Dr. Michael Diamonds and I'm the founder of Sculpt by Science. We help busy professionals reach their peak performance with their health, energy, and finally get lean sustainably. The WHO recognizes obesity as a disease. Women with more than 30% body fat and men with more than 25% body fat are considered obese. So if you fall within this range, this video will help you tremendously. On September 27, 2022, the WHO reported more than 1 billion people worldwide are obese. That includes 650 million adults. 340 million adolescents and 39 million children. This number is still increasing. In the United States, 42% of adults are overweight and obese, and the number is rising dramatically. I honestly believe from the 1 billion people out there, they're searching for this information on YouTube. So for the algorithm, you have the power to change someone's life and change the course of this channel for the better. According to YouTube Analytics, only 14% of you are subscribed to the channel. All I ask is to subscribe and gently tap the like button. Let's kick it off. Gut microbiome. It's a community of microscopic bugs that live mainly in our intestines and they feed on the food that we eat. They release useful chemicals when they're fed the right food and it controls our appetite and how our body stores fat. According to the Department of Research at Harvard University, about 100 trillion bacteria live inside our digestive system. This is an insane number when you think about it. There are thousands of different species which weigh as much as our brain when you put it all together, and a hundredfold more genes than one is found in the human genome. These little bugs work very hard for your gut health. They're like little superheroes, each with their own special superpowers. They regulate our appetite, help us digest food, maintain a healthy immune system, produce essential nutrients and vitamins, and most importantly, Importantly, they regulate our mood and our mental health. So your gut microbiota is like a missing organism, the hero behind your good health. Now you may be wondering, do we all have the same species of gut microbes? This is where it gets interesting and the answer is no. If you take a look at the genetics between two random humans, they're about 99.9% .9 identical to one another, but can be 80 to 90% different from one another in terms of the gut microbiome. A study that was conducted in 2013 by Alan Walker on gut microbiota from identical twins one twin was obese and one was lean. They were implemented in germ-free mice and they were fed the same food. They found that the mice receiving microbiota from the obese twin gained weight and developed insulin resistance compared to the mice receiving microbiota from the lean twin. This simply means that diet and environment can shape your gut microbial composition and in turn can have a direct effect on your body composition and the ability to lose weight. Have you ever eaten a lot of food and still felt hungry a short time after? Or do you find yourself craving snacks free frequently throughout the day. Well, your little gut microbes could be the reason for this. Ghrelin, which is the hormone that stimulates hunger, is produced more often when these bugs are imbalanced and this is what brings us to the main problem, dysbiosis. It's a term used to describe the imbalance of the microscopic bugs in your gut. There'll be increase in inflammation and increase in production of ghrelin, which can make it more difficult for our bodies to absorb nutrients and burn fat. This puts you in a higher risk of developing obesity, cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, and even cancer. Here's the good news. You're capable of changing your gut microbiome 
biodiversity by 57% through eating the right food, whereas genes account for no more than 12%. By dietary change, we mean making your diet more diverse, both in terms of color and content and not ditching your favorite foods completely. It's proven that the diet is consistent of different types of food and colors can lead to more diverse microbiome. This is why a salad is considered very healthy. All the different colorful vegetables are great fuels for your gut microbes. Adding these 10 foods or a combination of these 10 foods paired with a caloric deficit may be the missing key for you to finally get lean. This is exactly what happened with my client Tori who had been training for years but building a sustainable diet with a variety of superfoods is what allowed him to transform. The same with my client Donnie, Shannon and David, all extremely busy professionals who changed their gut microbiome and are now leaner, more energetic and understand what they're putting in their body. If you want me to help build your personalized roadmap and get similar results, fill out the application in the description below in this video to work with me directly and let's finally get to see your six pack once in your life. But let's get into these 10 foods. Number one is coffee. Personally, I fast for 16 hours and I eat within an eight hour window period. What I do for breakfast is coffee. Coffee is a powerful stimulant and it can be used to improve your physical strength. It will minimize fatigue. It is also classified as a nootropic because it sensitizes neurons and provides mental stimulation. Many of caffeine's effects include fat burning, strength benefits, euphoria, and yes, they're subject to tolerance. It may not occur in people who are already used to caffeine no matter how large the dose. Coffee is rich in fibers and polyphenols. Polyphenols are this natural defense chemical in most plants, but particular ones that have those bitter tastes and dark colors are typically expressed in coffee. These polyphenols are really like a boost of energy or fuel for your gut microbes and make them produce beneficial chemicals that are very good for your gut microbiota. What I usually recommend for my clients is to make coffee their main pre-workout drink. It doesn't just give you a great boost in energy, but it's also calorie free and it's natural. This makes it a perfect pre-workout workout drink. I recommend no more than two to three cups in a day. Number two, oats. Think of your gut microbiota like a bunch of tiny workers in your digestive system. These workers love to eat fiber. It's like their favorite snack. One way the gut microbiota prevents weight gain through the fermentation of dietary fibers. Oats are an excellent source of prebiotic fiber. These little workers ferment these fibers and create special chemicals called short chain fatty acids, which keeps your gut healthy, reduces inflammation, and it also makes it easier for your body to absorb the nutrients from the food. Additionally, oats contain polyphenols, which are antioxidants Oxidants and have shown to have anti-inflammatory effects. Have you ever wondered why bodybuilders love oats so much? They also have the highest satiety index amongst breakfast foods, which means they keep you feeling full and satisfied for longer. Number three, Greek yogurt. It's packed with tiny living organisms called prebiotics. These prebiotics produce short chain fatty acids like butyrate. They're like little shields for your gut lining. They protect you from inflammation and damage. Plus Greek yogurt is high in protein. It leaves you full and satisfied and it's great for muscle building. Some ways you can make your Greek yogurt is mixing your favorite protein powder and or mixing it with your favorite fruit like strawberries or berries. Extra virgin olive oil could lower the risk of heart disease, stroke, and decrease type 2 diabetes. It also has anti-inflammatory properties which can help reduce inflammation in the gut and also support gut barrier function. But let's be real, measuring out portions can be challenging. So to make things easier, I recommend using a spray. Replace all of your soft drinks or your sweet beverages with sparkling water. The worst enemy of your gut can be sugar and artificial sweeteners, let alone sugar spikes and the extra calories that come from it. It makes losing weight close to impossible. By eating the sugar, you'll be feeding what we want to call in this video the villains of the story a pathogenic bacteria in your gut. And it goes beyond that. Sugar causes imbalances in your gut microbiota and causes inflammation in the gut lining. This will mess with your food absorption and cause weight gain and insulin resistance. If you're really craving to drink something fresh with your meal, your gut needs the right hydration to thrive. I would normally suggest plain water, but sparkling water is a good step if you're starting to crave that soft drink, as long as it's free from artificial sweeteners. Along with the hydration of your gut, health studies have shown that water can help reduce the calorie intake and promote weight loss. In my personal opinion, I will still have a few soft drinks in my drink, so I highly recommend finding a balance between the sparkling water and the soft drink. Now, I personally still drink zero calorie drinks knowing this information. The objective here isn't to cut out all foods and or your favorite snacks completely, but to allow you to make better choices. For example, I now drink my gallon of water per day as sparkling water and then still have a few cans of my Sprite Zero. The key word here is balance. The next 
meal. Chicken. Your gut bacteria love protein. Just like a builder needs the right tools to construct a building, your gut microbiota needs protein to grow and thrive. Chicken is high in protein, low in carbs, making it great for weight loss in terms of food options. This is why chicken, as a good source of protein, can support the gut health by promoting growth of your gut bacteria. However, the way that chicken is prepared and cooked can also impact nutritional value and potentially impact your gut health. For example, fried chicken or the chicken that has added artificial ingredients may not be as beneficial for your gut as grilled or baked chicken. This is the best way to prepare your chicken. This will be a game changer. We know that chicken's a great source of protein, but if you're making it in your pan or you're baking it, it can be hard to eat dry chicken. What you should do is use an air fryer. In my 10 years of making chicken breasts as a bodybuilder and doctor, this is by far the best way to keep your chicken juicy and flavorful. Give the Ninja air fryer a go, thank me later. Salmon. It's the perfect combination of healthy fats and lean protein, and it's exactly what your gut needs. Salmon is high in protein, which can help with increasing your satiety and reducing your hunger, making it easy to stick to your calorie control diet. Also, salmon is rich in omega-3 fatty acids, which can help reduce inflammation and improve insulin sensitivity, both of which are important for weight loss. If you're a big sushi fan, I highly recommend going for a sake. Try and avoid any sushi with salmon that has the cream cheese on it just to reduce the fat. The next group is berries. These consist of strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, and are also known as a superfood. They're low in calories, they're packed with fiber, and can promote weight loss by keeping you full and satisfied. One cup of raspberries has 64 calories, blackberries, one cup, 65, blueberries in one cup, 86 calories, and strawberries in one cup is 48 calories. Berries are high in polyphenols and are rich in antioxidants, which can protect your gut from damage and promote the growth of your gut microbiota. If you're interested in antioxidizing properties, then berries are the way to go. You'll see these are common ingredients in the green supplements that you like. Eggs. Eggs are an ultimate food hack if you want to lose the weight, improve your gut health without sacrificing taste or satisfaction. Eggs are rich in protein and act like a natural appetite suppressant. Most importantly, eggs are also prebiotic food. They contain compounds that can help feed and nourish your gut microbiome. So if you want to maintain a healthy weight, reduce the risk of chronic disease, and support gut well-being, make sure to include the eggs into your diet. Now, if you're going to go out and you're going to have a drink, I would recommend red wine. I save the best for last for you. You can still enjoy your weekend drink while while trying to lose weight. You might be wondering how red wine is good for your gut microbiota. Any fermented food or drink can be gut friendly and wine too if it's taken in moderation. Wine is rich in polyphenols which have been shown to have strong prebiotic effects and in turn improve your gut microbiota diversity and composition. In short, the types of microbiome you have change how your body reacts to the food you eat and in turn affect your body fat and weight loss journey. The amount of calories you eat in a day is important but the quality of the food comes first. The take away from this video is make your food as diverse and as colorful as possible. I highly recommend increasing the diversity with your food. This will help your gut tremendously. And finally, just before we end, I highly recommend fasting. Fasting also allows your gut to have a break for it to repair and to decrease inflammation. Fasting has been shown to be incredible for your gut and that's only a fraction of its benefits. But I'll leave the video here. Hopefully this video is helpful and you can use a combination of the 10 foods or any of them and just improve your overall gut health. This will help with weight loss overall and your overall vitality. With that being said, if you want to work with me, help me build your diverse diet plan that is healthy for you that will give you energy, then fill out the application in the description down below. Leave the video the gentle thumbs up and let me know in the description down below what you think of this video. Very different, but I think it will be super useful. But I'll see you guys in the next one.